Hi, I'm Dr. Lara, and welcome to another week of Channel Angel Messages. So sit back, relax, and see what resonates for you. Hmm. Okay. So um, my heart is feeling a little heavy, and my my solar plexus is uh, feeling a little uh, clouded, I guess. Um, so what they're telling me is, uh, this sounds like it's, it's to some specific people. Um, there's a sense of feeling that you don't deserve what's happening in your life. And actually it's like two folded. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Okay. This is kind of a kick in the pants message. <laughs> All right. So there, there's, um, some victimhood that is being felt here. Like, um, I don't deserve this, or I don't deserve that, or this person is this, and this person is that. And there feels like there's a lot of blaming that's going on there. And just their message for that is to just kind of take a step back and see what your relationship in it is, or what part of the relationship you are participating in, okay? Because people treat you the way you let them. So if someone is not treating you well, it's because you're letting them not treat you well. And I know that that sounds kind of like a, a harsh reality, but it's absolutely true. And sometimes when we don't love ourselves enough, we don't feel like we deserve good things, we allow people to walk all over us and not treat us well. So that's what the kick in the pants is. Um, the, it wasn't like any kind of blaming, but it was just take responsibility for how you are showing up and what you're allowing in your life. And rest assured, when you stand in your own power and once you decide that you deserve better, the universe brings that energy to you to help you feel better about yourself. So eventually you will come to a place where it's like, you know what? I deserve better and this is not okay. All right. So that's what they, they want to let you know is that you deserve to be loved. You deserve to be respected. You deserve to have joy in your life. You deserve to have abundance. All of that, all of the stuff that your heart wants, you deserve it. Okay, so that's the first part of that message. The other part of this message on the flip side is it feels like there is someone that there's a lot of good happening in your life, like a lot of good. Like it feels like there's um, some new love, new relationship, there's new abundance coming in. Uh, things are going very well for you and it feels kind of foreign to you and because there's some people that are like not doing well around you. Okay, they just want to let you know is that you've worked very hard to get to this place. You, you have worked very hard to get to this place and now you are enjoying the benefits of all of those choices and you absolutely deserve to feel good and to enjoy what's going on with your life, okay? Um, just because other people are not doing well or not feeling good does not mean that you have to lower your vibration to to where they're at, okay? That you, ah, let go of the guilt of being who you are, okay? You don't have to lower your standards or vibration or or feel your sad emotions because other people are. Break yourself away from that and you keep going because you are on the right track, okay? All right, and this leads me into the next message. That might be just a continuation that um, there's some people here that are doing very, very well. They know what their purpose is. They are, you know, stepping into their purpose. They're starting to fulfill their purpose and even making some money doing it and things are going pretty well. And uh, there's some people around you that I, they're, they're like this. <laughs> okay, they're not too happy. They're not too happy with you and it doesn't feel like they support you. And the reason why is because they could be jealous or envious or a lot of times what happens when we start to shine our light and um, you know show our gifts and talents, it scares others. And it scares others because they see in themselves the possibilities. 
and that scares them because it moves them beyond their comfort zone. So you are on the right track, whoever this is, you are fulfilling your purpose, keep going, and um, just allow them to be who they are, but you keep going. And if it feels like these people are dragging you down, maybe do some um, reconsidering of who is in your circle. Um, it just feels organically like a lot of people are going to start falling away because they can't hold that vibration. So don't worry about it. When you hold a certain vibration, when you are moving forward and you're positive in your life, you're going to be attracting more people that are positive and happy and support you. Okay. And your energy is needed. Uh, it is appreciated. So please, please keep going. And thank you. Okay. And okay. This is the last part of the message. Yes, there's a lot of stuff that's still happening, you know, with everything on the planet and a really good thing for you to do to help release your energy is maybe um, take up a meditation practice, listening to some uplifting music, some healing music, um, yoga, go out and exercise, even if you don't feel like it. Okay. There's a lot of people that are just like, I don't feel like it. <laughs> Yes, we understand you don't feel like it, but if you don't feel like it and you stay in that energy, you're always going to feel like that. So if you want to change or shift whatever is happening in your life, shift the physical thing first. Go outside for, for a walk. If you don't want to go for a walk, just go sit outside in the sun for a couple minutes. Or if it's cold, breathe in the fresh air, whatever it is, but get yourself out of that cesspool of I don't feel like it. <laughs> move your energy because when you move, it moves that emotion out and it gets you out of where you're at. And they're showing me consistency. Okay. New habits. Develop some new habits. Be consistent with it and things will begin to change for you. Okay. So those are the messages for today. I hope you enjoyed them and thank you so much for listening. Take care.